as you look down the beach you can actually see anybody that would come to our beach would think that it's very beautiful and pristine uh, it, to the to the eye to the naked eye it does look like that but when you close up and you get close on uh, and look down into the seaweed it's not the big things that you see it's the little tiny things that kill they kill the birds and that, that the animals eat and that the turtles eat and as you can see there's all the little tiny bottle caps in all this tide line and there's all little tiny uh, bottle caps and all different types of things. There's even stuff still here from last 4th of July, the, the, the little plastic ends on the rockets. All kinds of bottle caps, there's straws, cigarette butts, little caps to the tops of uh, uh, suntan lotion. And you can see there's even pieces of plastic bag. All of this is ingested by all the birds and all the sea life. And this is what's killing them. Not this beautiful pristine beach that you see out in front of you. It's, it's all of this stuff that's that's small and, and almost seems insignificant, but it's more significant than, than you would ever think because of, of what it does to the marine life and how it kills it all. And there's Sharon down at that end and she's trying to pick up as much as she can. As you can see, she's only gone about 10 feet and she's found almost, she's almost filled up two garbage bags full of little pieces of plastic and it's just it's just the way it is it's this is this is the part that we that we're really concerned about and that we want to to make sure that 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 we can try to pick all this stuff up but it's almost impossible because there's so much of it